Welcome to RCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse, and I'm here with Carl Neiman. He is Wireless Platform Architect at National Instruments. Carl, thanks so much for inviting us here to the 5G Lab. You have a demo going here of new radio, and that's one of the, one of the things that I don't think very many people have seen, so I'm going to hand you the mic and let you show it to us. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Martha. So um, this is a demonstration of a 28 gigahertz radio link, and uh, this is uh, work that we started uh, using the Verizon 5G TF, which is a fixed wireless uh, technology. So what this is supposed to do is to uh, be potentially a fiber replacement for fixed wireless. And this is a base station on the left side, and this would be uh, a, a user device. And this is doing a data link of about three gigabits per second using that uh, specification. So we have a live over the air link here, and then a phased array antenna on uh, the user device side. And this is able to uh, receive signals transmitted from the base station, decode them, and we have a live video actually running over that link now uh, in our lab. So this is important work in the way that uh, the standards will move forward for both this Verizon 5G TF and as they will feed into the new radio spec for 3GPP. One thing I wanted to ask you before we finish, uh, you had shown us earlier a little bit of the beam forming demonstration mm -hmm. and, and uh, how sensitive it is. Can you, can you demonstrate that for us? Sure, so uh, at those high frequencies, uh, blockage is actually a very big issue. So as we see here, actually putting my hand in front of the, uh, the link will actually attenuate the signal a lot and my throughput on that dial will actually go down. So blockage is not only an issue, but then also we're using this phased array antenna, which steers a very narrow beam at the base station. And uh, that beam can also, if it's steered in the wrong direction, you can also lose the signal as well. But all of the protocols are supposed to be able to handle that, and they will deal with aligning the beams between both the base station and the user side. All right, Carl Neiman, Wireless Platform Architect at National Instruments. Thank you so much.